Hello. Welcome to another video in this series where we will try to paint the portrait in complementary colors to the reference. Initially, we commence by blocking out the head, opting for simple fundamental shapes as our starting point. In this instance, I choose to begin with a square shape, finding it to be the most representative of the reference at hand. We initiate by roughly blocking in the eyes with spheres, swiftly determining the direction of the pupils. It's advantageous to ascertain this early on, rather than attempting to correct the eye alignment towards the end of the process. We employ this simplified shape approach across all facets of the drawing. Our aim is to identify basic shapes that effectively convey the narrative to the viewer. Superfluous edges and contours are avoided as they can muddle the visual clarity and distract the eye. The center line serves as a guide to ensure the accurate positioning of features, preventing any misalignment or skewing that could occur. I aim to design each line by employing either a straight, curved or S-shaped line. This approach simplifies the shape design and enhances the clarity of the depiction. I utilize a range of small, medium and large shapes to introduce variation at every stage of the process, employing a fractal method that cascades from macro to micro levels. At this stage, my focus is honed on the forms. Do they exude a solid feel? I identify areas that seem off and contemplate strategies to rectify them. Here I soften the square shape at the back of the head to better mirror the reference and enhance the aesthetic appeal. A bit of shadow mapping on the collar. Now we introduce a bright yellow background colour to create a harmonious contrast with the cyan hue of the skin we'll be painting. The complementary colour to the reddish hair is the cyan hue we are applying. Initially we'll fill it with flat colours, setting aside any consideration of details for now. At this stage, I'm already thrilled with how the colours are interacting and complementing each other. The grey of the shirt is quite desaturated, yet retains a purple undertone. Therefore, I adjust the greys in the painting towards its complementary colour, green. Now as the teal skin comes into play, the colours seem to dance in harmony, encapsulating a certain emotion. It feels as if we've captured a sentiment. The task ahead is to preserve this essence and, if possible, enhance it further. We proceed to fill in the flat colours for the remainder of the image, encompassing the jewellery, pupils, eyebrows and various drop shadows. Now we shall transition to painting the darker tones.
some highlights on the hair and the shirt. The shadows seem to be a cool purple-blue colour, so I get a little wild and use a rich dark green in the painting. Here we drop in the shadow colour for the skin. Now we proceed to push the darks further in the hair. And a little darker on the skin. The moment has arrived to release the line drawing and ascertain if the painting can begin to stand on its own. Much like in life, there comes a point where one must muster the courage to stand independently, embracing the journey of self-reliance and discovery. Now we intensify the dark tones in the hair to inject more contrast, thereby adding a greater depth to the image. Even the delicate strands of hair we are now adding adhere to the fractal design principle. Each small brush stroke complements and contrasts with the larger and medium shapes, contributing to the overall appeal of the image. Art, much like life, is a meticulous arrangement of contrasts and harmonies. Each stroke on the canvas mirrors our actions, small or significant, shaping the larger picture of our existence. The fractal nature of design in art symbolizes the interconnectedness of all things, where the minute complements the monumental and every element, no matter how small, holds intrinsic value and purpose. As we navigate through the layers of colours, shapes and textures in art, we unravel the layers of understanding, experiences and emotions in life. The canvas is not merely a reflection of reality, but a profound exploration of existence, urging us to delve deeper into the essence of being and the endless possibilities that lie in the realm of creation. On a side note, did you know Harry Styles has four nipples? Look it up. Now we are infusing some graphical elements into the background and the lower portion of the foreground character. This is a realm where creativity can truly flourish, allowing us to exhibit our unique character. At this juncture, I'm on the lookout for smooth gradients, identifying areas where I can facilitate a seamless flow for the eye path. This stage presents the opportunity to really start polishing the image, enhancing its overall finesse and visual appeal. Here we undertake one final pass to polish the background, ensuring every element is refined and harmoniously integrated. As we traverse through the canvas, the dance of complementary colours unveils itself, narrating a visual tale that captivates the senses. The interplay between hues, the juxtaposition of warm and cool tones, they all contribute to a harmonious yet dynamic visual spectacle. Art in its essence is an exploration, a journey beyond the conventional, into the realms of the unexplored. It beckons us to venture outside the box, to experiment with the palette of possibilities that lie before us. Each stroke, each colour choice is a step towards unearthing our unique expression, our distinct voice, amidst the chorus of creativity. Embracing the new, the unfamiliar, often comes with a blend of excitement and trepidation. Yet it's in the crucible of experimentation that our artistic prowess is honed, our vision broadened. Don't shy away from trying new techniques, new colour combinations. The canvas is a forgiving mentor, always ready to embrace our endeavors, be they triumphant or learning experiences. 
Failure, often feared, is but a seasoned teacher in disguise. It's through the trials, the errors, that we glean insights, evolve and inch closer to the artist we aspire to be. So as the colours on the canvas converse with each other, let them inspire you to take risks, to learn, to grow. The journey of art is as much about self-discovery as it is about mastering the craft. And remember, every masterpiece was once a blank canvas filled with the spirit of adventure and the courage to venture into the unknown. I will leave you with this quote. Colour is the place where our brain and the universe meet. By Paul Cezanne. Thank you for watching.